Once I've created my data layers, there's really two things I want to do. First, I want to display an image. And here we have an image of a rural area with points for houses and lines for roads created. And we'll also create later a polygon data layer and digitizing polygons. Second thing I want to do is set up the snapping. Now, I have to make sure that I have the snapping toolbar turned on, and I'll want the advanced digitizing toolbar turned on. As we talked about before, in the view, I can set toolbars. In this case, my advanced digitizing is turned on. And further down, there's a snapping toolbar. I rearrange my toolbars a little bit. Right now, the advanced digitizing toolbar is turned off. It may appear up here. And there's also a snapping toolbar. So this is the snapping toolbar. I set the snapping on or off by this magnet horseshoe, and then I can set the kind of snapping. So I can snap to all layers. That means any line will snap to any existing line or polygon or point. I can set it just the active layer or their advanced options I can set. I also want to set whether I'm going to use pixels or meters. I like to use the basic units because that makes sense and whether I want to enable topological snapping and uh, enable snapping on the intersection. So I typically turn both of these on. I can also set up whether vertices will be, be the only thing that snaps or vertexes and segments, and I usually do both. So that if I'm going across a line um, with a point, it'll snap, or if I'm going to a line or to a point, it'll snap to either of those. The advanced settings we'll cover a little later. So once I've set up snapping and I've set up my advanced digitizing toolbars and I have my features that I want to digitize into, I start digitizing. Now, I do that by selecting a data layer and then toggling the editing on. And when I toggle the editing on, you see I get a bunch of tools that are now active, the regular digitizing tools and the advanced digitizing tools. Now, the regular digitizing tools basically allow me to create a new feature, in this case a line, and edit the vertices for that feature. So basically I zoom in, click to create a new feature, and I start by digitizing a point, and you can see this faint red line. And I digitize along until I want to end the line, and then I do a right click, and it asks me to give a feature ID. I can let it auto-generate it, say OK, and now the feature's here. We can't really see that very well, so I'll look at the symbology and make it a little different color, maybe something that's easier to see, and I'll make it thicker. And now you can see there's the digitized line. Now I go ahead and digitize more new lines, and you'll notice that as I digitize along, and I'll right click. I'm adding vertices. And when I get close, because of snapping to an existing line or point, it pulls that vertex end for the next point I'm going to digitize to my features. And so the snapping helps me move quickly at an expanded scale at zoomed out so that I don't have to really zoom in and make sure everything lies exactly on top of one another and it's almost impossible to get things exactly on top of one another. So I go along adding new features, right clicking to end and then go to the next new feature. And so the snapping I can see there's that little pink that shows up that shows it snapped and I can again then digitize. Now a couple of things, if you have arrow or button keys on your keyboard you can go ahead and pan while you're digitizing along so you don't have to go out. Another thing you can do is if I get to the end here and I want to pan, I can go over and grab the pan tool and move to give more space and go back and get the digitizing tool and it goes continues the line I'm already working on. So I can go off and grab these and go back and forth if I don't have the arrow buttons on my keyboard. Again, right click to end. That's the most basic of introductions to creating data layers, setting snapping, and adding lines. In subsequent videos, we'll talk about how to digitize polygons and how to edit vertices.